we had absolutely no idea what people were going to do with these things when we started out. Uh, matter of fact, the two people it was designed for was Waz and myself, <laughs> because we couldn't afford to buy a computer kit on the market. So we liberated some parts from Hewlett Packard and Atari, and uh, worked on a design for about six months and decided that we would uh, build our own computer. So we built one, and uh, Waz was up till four in the morning for many moons, and we got it working. We showed some of our friends. Immediately, everybody wanted one. And it turned out that it took about 40 hours to build one of these things and about another 20, 30, 40 to debug it. And we had a lot of friends that worked at similar companies who could liberate the parts also. And <laughs> we found ourselves spending every spare moment of our time helping our friends to build computers. And it was just getting to be a, a tremendous drain on our, on our lives. So we got the idea one day that, that we could make a printed circuit board uh, without the parts in it. Sell these blank printed circuit boards to our friends and probably cut the assembly and debug time down to, you know, five, ten hours. So Waz sold his HP6 calculator and I sold my van and we got 1300 bucks together and we paid our friend of ours who was this uh, PC board layout person, 1300 bucks to do us a layout and decided we'd sell printed circuit boards at twice what it cost to build them and hopefully recoup our calculator and transportation at some later date. So that's what we did. And I was out trying to pedal PC boards one day and walked into a bike shop, the first bike shop in Mountain View. And uh, Paul Terrell, the then owner of the bike shop, said uh, he would like to take 50 of these computers. And I saw dollar signs in front of my eyes. <laughs> and, but he had one catch, which was that he wanted them fully assembled and tested, ready to go, which is a new twist. So we spent the next five days on the phone to distributors and convinced the electronics parts distributors around here to give us about $10,000 worth of parts on thin air, just on enthusiasm. So we got the parts and we built 100 computers and we sold 50 of them for cash and 29 days paid off the distributors. And that's how we got started. So we had 50 computers left over. Well, that meant we had to sell them. So then we started worrying about marketing, worrying about distribution, got on the phone to the other computer stores around the country. And gradually the whole thing began to build momentum. And at that point in time, we had some feeling that we were on to something. But the, the feeling was, is, is so different than the experience of actually seeing it happen right now. It's entirely different. And uh, sometimes a lot, a lot of people ask, well, did you know it was going to mushroom into this phenomenon? And you could say, yeah, you know, we planned it out. We had lead on a piece of paper. But it's different than the experience of seeing 500 people working at Apple Computer. It's very different than the experience of seeing a five-year-old kid who uh, really understands what he's, the tool that he's got in front of him.